Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the third process video for the November Build-A-Page series. Today I am scrapbooking pictures of me and my sisters and my brother on Halloween. This would have been probably the early 70s and um, my mom had sent us this picture on Halloween. We had been passing around pictures of all the grandkids and so it was kind of fun to go back and see a picture from our childhood. And so I want to make sure this gets documented. So I went ahead and printed it as a 4 by 4 picture. Um, it's not the clearest of pictures, but it's okay. It's, um, you know, it's enough for the memory, and I'm good with that. So I'm using this very thin spider paper, and I'm going to go ahead and mat the whole thing onto a piece of black cardstock, giving it a quarter of an inch frame going all the way around. Um, it just is going to beef up that paper that I've had in my stash for a while. And um, this is one of those, if you do have those thin papers, you don't necessarily have to throw them away because of the thin paper. You just go ahead and mat it on another piece. Um, this is a, one of those things that you can also do if you ever have um, those paper pads with the, I'm not going to say the ugly paper, but the ones that aren't your style. All you have to do is turn them over and, and use those as a backing and cover them up. Um, that way you're getting use out of those paper pads and you're not throwing away a cute piece of paper. So um, I'm using as my inspiration for this the Simple Stories October 31st foam stickers. And I also had the October 31st um, 6x8 paper pad in my stash. So I'm going to go ahead and use that for building my layout. The first thing I did was I found that Happy Halloween paper, and I really liked how it was. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of build a T um, kind of a um, layout. So I'm using the orange stars that will pop off the black, and it will also allow me to, to have it... Um, at the bottom half of that Happy Halloween, which then be kind of becomes my title. The next thing I'm going to do is find two papers that I'm going to use for double matting my photo. I'm not really as concerned about the pattern as I am the color because most of it's going to be covered up. So I found this um, kind of, um, it looked almost like a newsprint type with um, like cartoon characters of all the Halloween icons. And I'm going to use that for my first matting. And then I'll use the black with the orange um, and yellow stars as my second matting. And then that will all pop off against that orange and then the cream color. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an inch off of that cream colored paper just to extend it down below the orange paper. And that will um, finish off so it looks like, um, you know, the illusion of it being a full piece of paper that runs to the bottom of the page. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the top of the orange. Well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and mat this down, and I'm going to have it about an inch from the top, and I'm going to center it. And then what I'm going to do is give about an inch to each side for this um, star paper. I'm going to actually line it up for the bottom because the bottom is what's going to show. The top half is not going to show because it's going to be covered with the photo. And um, again, it where it wasn't necessarily a 100% even cut at three inches, this is going to kind of hide those flaws. And it will also help to hide that um, where the two pieces of paper met together. And you, it really won't stand out. So once I have it all laid in place, I have that little strip of the beige down at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and mat my photo. And this is the base of my layout. The next thing I'm going to do is start decorating. This went super, super quick. I did think about using the 4x4 four four, um, cut aparts, and I pulled them out. Um, actually, they're 3x4, um, but I ended up not using those. I really um, need to concentrate on using um, the my inspiration, which is the foam stickers, and I am also had it in mind that I wanted to use these witches. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put the witches down, 
and I have this big one here, making sure that nothing on the witch covers up any of the photo. And then I have the other one on the other side that's just kind of flying through the sky. That's kind of going to bring in that feel of, you know, the 1970s kind of a layout, that vintage feel that October afternoon had. And now, you know, again, I'm trying to concentrate on using my inspiration. So in there, they had this one that looks like it's a cluster and it had the Boo Crew, and I thought that was kind of cute. Um, my little sister's um, nickname, um, well, her name is Bonnie, and they call her Bonnie Boo. So I kind of thought that was kind of cute for the Boo Crew. And then I have Boo to You that I'm going to put below that. In the bottom left-hand corner, I found, um, it looks like a ticket. This is Happy Halloween in the black. And I'm going to put Wickedly Good Times because of all the little witches I have flying around. I also grabbed this little girl that is on the broom. And that's going to kind of bring that feel of the little witch that's up in the um, background paper up above. So it's kind of bringing in that whimsical look and all, all coordinating it in. I also brought in the circular foam of the um, jack-o'-lantern in the the bottom right hand side and I have this little bat up above so then that's kind of um, making my three clusters and I have that um, the foam going in several places the next thing I grabbed was those gingham orange um, they're sticky brads you know um, not the real enamel bat brads put those in three spots and then to finish it off i'm using my gold heidi swap color shine and i'm going to um, sprinkle that in the three sections as well and that's going to be it for my layout it was really quick it took maybe 20 minutes to do this layout here's some close-ups for you and i'll be back again tomorrow with another process video have a great day